My name is Brian Garsha. I am a principal at RG Construction Services here in Chicago, Illinois. It's a family business. Um, we were started in 1977 by my grandfather, uh, originally focused in uh, plastering, in conventional plastering, and my dad and his two brothers transitioned us from a plastering company to a full wall and ceiling uh, contractor that we are today. It's carrying on a tradition and a legacy for my grandfather, like it means a lot more. I think one area that we're really focused on is how can we can continue to add value to our customers, which is the general contractors we work for, but is also the owners we work for. And we take a lot of pride in continuing to try and innovate and add more value to make these projects go and make them successful. We have several customers that are, you know, our engagements be like, hey, can you open space our job, we want, we want you to do it for an entire job for us because they, they see the value inherently in the product. Before open space, the closest we got was using iPads and taking videos and you know, then trying to put them in Dropbox or Box or something, as you might imagine, um, was a painful process. I remember one job, one of our foremen literally had a whiteboard that he would take around room to room and write the room number on it and then he'd do his little, you know, there's all sorts of options, right? There's laser scanners and all these different tools you can do that are very either expensive or they're very time intensive. Well, here I have a you know $400 camera on someone's hard hat. He's walking the job once a week and I'm able to visually compare what is work in place against what we coordinated. Like I have an easy practical solution that I can use that really is providing real value. One of the jobs we've used it on, um, the job's done, we're basically closed out, and they are actually having some issues with the door frames. What was in place when or whatever, and you know, now six, seven months after we've been done with that part of the job or whatever, it's like, well, I think that such and such happened, and I really think we were there first, and my superintendent on his iPad goes, nope, that's not the case, I know. And he literally goes to the open space and he went back to that floor and, and show him CC, no, our work is here, yours isn't. Like, we're, we're in right. Like, that's, you had it wrong. And the reality is to have a source of truth you can go back to six months, you know, ago or a year ago and kind of say, here's what was actually going on that week is a big deal. The Illinois Masonic uh, Wellington building, which is the first job we really piloted insight on with open space, and having a tool that we could use to get real visibility, clarity, and that, and that check of how are we doing? Because what's really important to the owner is not just, hey, what do we think the cost is going to be, but what is the cost where we are now and where are we going from a forecasting standpoint? And open space was a real important tool for us because we were able to take captures weekly in terms of, hey, here's where we are, and then evaluating that against the actual hours we were spending each week, which was really informing us to say, hey, we're on track with our budget, we're ahead of schedule or behind. And in that sense was a really good tool to help us make sure we could provide true visibility to the owner in terms of how we were executing on the job. One of the things you know about Insight, right, is that I can also see, well, how much work did we do from today from a week ago. So maybe I'm just saying, okay, if we're 50% now, last week we were at 35, well, I'm gonna assume same cruise size, same work, I'm gonna be 65% at the end of next week, right? So again, it's it's putting you know numbers and a quantitative analysis around something that otherwise is kind of a touchy-feely thing. It's one of the things I like to talk a lot about with open spaces, like helping us get to the holy grails, especially trade contractor, which is, you know, not just understanding what the percent complete is, but how that translates to our productivity. Um, as a wall and ceiling contractor, 75% of our cost is all labor. So it's all based on the production rates for the different works that we do and what we think we can achieve in an estimate, right, when we win a job. But to have, if we know truly what percent complete we are at any given week, and I know what our budget hours are for an operation before an area, and I now know how many hours we've spent, well now I really do kind of am getting to that visibility of, hey, we are on budget with what we thought we were, or we're ahead of schedule, or we're behind. And that type of you know, easy analysis to do, because I think with open space it makes it easy and efficient, 
really is like the holy grail for us to really having true visibility and insight and you know back to that concept of PDCA and in, in lean construction is this idea of we need to be able to check in weekly to see how we're actually executing and how what kind of production rates are we getting actual relative to our budget um, that's a big deal for us and that's something we're really excited about because we think there's a lot more we can do there it's quickly become a, a, a go-to for us um, both within the estimating department for the guys that are estimating and running and managing the work um, as well as you know in accounting they use it to validate uh, you know kind of the percent complete and like hey does is this really where we are in terms of what our billing is saying and then just from a, a QA QC tool um, you know we really are continuing to figure out how to leverage open space it's something that we are using on all of our IPD projects and when we would continue to push and quite frankly incorporate into our RFPs as to hey why should you even be working with RG on this type of project. I remember one of the first captures we took I pulled it up on my dad's computer and I'm like look at this is how this thing works and within five minutes he was tooling around on the floor like you know looking up looking down and and just like getting to see the job and to him it was like wow like we can do this and I'm like yeah we can do this on every project and it was just like this is easy.